Founded 5,000 years ago, the city of Tab has 41,000 inhabitants who enjoy the view on the Pyrenees and the mean less of the climate. Tab is a hometown of famous politics, sportsmen, writers, painters and musicians. And the man I'm going to talk about today is born in Tab in 1815. Please welcome Léon Bernard Clavery! By the way, I'm not suddenly obsessed by the Languedoc-Roussillon Midi-Pyrénées. It's just that I don't have much to tell about Léon. Léon Bernard Clavery is a knives manufacturer who gets a patent in 1850 for a short knife with a triangular blade and a wooden handle, named the canned food knife. Yes, Léon is the inventor of the tin opener. At that point, you probably wonder why the tin opener was created 50 years after the tin. Or you ask yourself, why nobody thought about a tin opener before Léon? The answer is simple. Before the second half of the 19th century, the cans were too strong to be opened with a small device. At Léon's time, a new metal, thinner than the previous one, became in use in the canned food industry. Anyway, Clavery's invention is simple and efficient. The design of his prototype is still alive. Just have a look at the butterfly tin opener. To the delight of Aperture Field, the one who collects tin opener, a lot of different kinds of this clever tool can be found, like the key for the sardine tin or the tin opener with two star wheels. And if the idea of meeting a tin opener in a museum makes you smile, be aware that this left-handed nightmare is dying out. Indeed, the phrase ring, created in 1960 for the soda cans, and the easy-to-peel system threatened the invention of clavery. To be honest, the canned salad with a peeling top is more frequently taken in picnics than a tin opener. And speaking of picnic, do you know George Crumb? This contemporary of Leon, born in 1822 in Malta, New York, on the other side of the Atlantic, he's the man who popularized the crepes. The story says that this cook had to deal with an angry customer in 1853. What was the problem? The chips were too thick. George, a bit upset, made extra thin slices of potatoes, fried them and put a lot of salt on them. And the angry customer was happy with that. This savoury but not too healthy recipe can be found in the 1833 cookbook, but the crepes became successful thanks to Crumb, and Crumb became successful thanks to his Saratoga chips. Every year, 3.5 kilograms of crepes are eaten per person in the UK. And we still have a tin opener somewhere in a kitchen drawer.